Reading hands is a poker term, but it applies to mahjong. Every mahjong player should know how to read hands. Look at the exposures and the discards to try to figure out what your opponent is playing. If you can, even observe their discards. When a player has one exposure, it's a little difficult to figure out what they're playing unless you can remember what they're discarding or flinching at or hesitating with. If they have two exposures, many times you can do a process of elimination to figure out what they need to potentially win their hand. We're gonna practice in this video. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just wanna build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything this is a game played at Mahjong time. This is my rack, and these are my opponent's racks. We have a, a Kong of one bams, Pung of two dots, the player on my right, a Pung of seven dots, player across from me, red dragons, and three crack Pungs. The player to my left has no exposures. Based on the discards that you see and the exposures, what am I playing? There is only one hand this could be. That is the year number two. Two zero, two, one. Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. Your hand. Practice reading hands in every game you play, whether online or in person. This way you can leverage that information and not discard the winning tile, but also potentially change your own hand based on what's happening at the table. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.